Number 65, Le Ray. The planet Pluto and its moon Charon are separated by 19,600 kilometers, neglecting any atmospheric effect should the 5.08 meter diameter Mount Palomar telescope be able to okay, resolve these bodies when they are 4.5 times 10 to the 9th kilometers uh, from Earth. Assume an average wavelength of 550 nanometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the minimum resolution angle, theta. All right, that's what we're going to do for this telescope first. So we that's just a function of the wavelength divided by then the diameter of the aperture inside the telescope. So the theta here is going to be 1.22 multiplied by the lambda, which is 500, the wavelength that is, 550 times 10 to the minus 9th meters, divided then by the uh, diameter of the telescope that was already in meters, so that's great. So just plug and chug. So 1.22 1 times in 550 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by 5.08. And we get a value here of 1.32 times 10 to the minus 7th radians. All right. Now what I'm going to do using this minimum angle, I'm then going to use that arc length formula all right, to solve then for the uh, minimum distance <clears throat> between, the, uh, between the objects. Okay. Uh, and the, in this case, it's Pluto and its moon. Right. So what I want to do is use that theta now, 1.32. And we've seen this in plenty of the prior problems now. If you need a visual, please check out some of the other prior problems. And then multiply it now by the uh, distance, basically, between uh, Earth and the uh, these two objects, which is about 4.5, right? 4.5 times 10 to the ninth kilometers. But, you know, we need that in meters, so just add 3 to that exponent there, so that should become 12. That's equal to L. So this is now the minimum distance. Let's see what it works out to be. So take the 1.32 times 7 to the minus 7th. Multiply it by 4.5 times 10 to the 12th. And here we get a value of the minimum distance now is going to be 590, about 4,000 meters. Okay. Now this is the minimum distance. The actual distance is this. The actual distance is 19,600 19, kilometers. In other words, 19 million meters. Okay. So this is the minimum. And this is the actual, so I guess, yeah, right? If the actual is larger uh, than the minimum, we should be able to resolve it. So the answer is uh, yes, assuming no atmospheric effects. And then it says in actuality, it's just barely possible to discern. What is this? What is the reason for this? Well, because I guess, I don't know. Atmospheric effects probably affect it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If this helped you out at all, please help us out by subscribing and liking. And like I mentioned, check out some of the other prior problems for picture setups and so on and so forth and the theory. All right, what I generally do is I take a, uh, the problems at the beginning of the section, I do in detail, and then the ones towards the end of that particular section, I start running through with formulas. All right, so uh, yeah, that allows me to get to more problems and helps you, you know, get your more answers, guys, so you can check your work faster. All right, I'm trying to move as fast as I can. I'll see you soon.